Hey y'all, sorry it's been a couple of days. I've been so busy and I took a day of rest and did a lot of praying and seeking the Lord on how to present the final chapters of the story um, of the wake up call. So, was thinking that I was gonna share more details of all the dreams, but rather than share all the details of all the dreams, I'm gonna just run through um, like the basic things that I saw in the dreams. And then after that, I'm going to do an, like a presentation with slides and I'm going to make that into a video and you can pause it and read um, because it has the message, the final message um, that the Lord has given me of what he's been showing me over these last seven years. So here goes the dreams. All right. So <clears throat> I hit on a couple of the dreams and I did miss a lot of them in the last couple videos. So I had this one dream of these rectangle-shaped clouds that blanketed the sky. Um, they were really low to the ground. They had huge airplanes, and they weren't like chemtrails. They were like, I don't know how else to describe them. It was like how a chemtrail is like this big. These were like this big, and they were, you know, like being sprayed really low to the ground, and that's all I know on that. Of course, I already told you about the parachute army men that looked like, and the fake money that was being dropped from military aircraft as a distraction. Um, the Asian invasion on American soil, China or North Korea, wasn't sure which. Um, I also had another dream, and these are all spread out for seven years, okay? Not back to back. So the other dream I had was I was standing on a, on a small rural road, and there were, it looked like a light, a big ball of fire, coming towards me way from down the road and as it got closer I realized it was two two lights and it was fire, little fireballs on power lines and they were traveling down the power lines so as the lights passed all the lights in the town would go out so my automatic thought was a CME and all the power was going to go out then I had, of course, the, the dream, I think I already mentioned this one, but the two suns and the frequency changes. Um, I had another dream about a red longhorn bull that was rushing a crowd at like an arena, and it was like hurting people, um, but there were believers in Christ there, and they were safe, like the bull did not come near them to harm them, and I brought to my memory Psalm 91, how when you rest under the shelter of the Most High, you know, you won't even dash your foot against the stone, and he covers us. He protects us. People get hurt on our right and our left, and no harm will come near us, right? Then I had another dream. Um, me and my dad and my son were driving around in our town, and there were lasers. People in helicopters were shooting lasers down, and things were catching fire. Now, this is back in 2018, okay? So, like, this was before all the fires in Hawaii and the fires in Texas that everyone says that was directed energy weapons. I didn't have a clue what a directed energy weapon was. I have since done research in trying to figure out what these dreams mean and found what directed energy weapons are. So I did dream about those. Um, we were ducking and dodging them in the dream and trying to find a place of safety. I've had two visions, <clears throat> flash visions, where I was awake and I had like an actual full vision. It looked like a scene of a movie, like inside. And one of them was a flash vision of a tsunami um, from the East Coast. On the map, I saw a map of the southern states, and then I started lifting up off the ground, and I could see the water coming from like the East Coast, like around North and South Carolina. It was, the water was coming in, in inundating like Georgia, Florida, um, North, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. Um, it was coming as far in as Tennessee. And then I had another vision as I was driving through Tennessee. Um, it was like the whole interstate was just water. And then I've had a couple of audible um, things from the Lord. The wake up, pay attention, watch the sky. That's when he woke me up out of my sleep. And that's what led me to figure out the paintings meant something. Then I had the... Um, a message from the Lord that said there will be a great shaking at the core of earth. 
that will shake man to the core of their soul and they will know that I am that I am and they will have to choose who they will serve. And that is going to be included in, it all ties together in the um, presentation that I'm going to post next, which will be the final thing. And then the paintings, of course, we had the earth, wind, and fire extreme is what I called it. Um, and my son just pulled up, so I'll have to come back. Okay. Um, so I've got the pregnant woman in travail in the earth, protected from the wave of water, spewed out by the dragon's mouth, all from scripture, from Revelation. This, that's how I interpreted it. The red dragon, the beast coming from Sheol, Antichrist, is here, but has not been revealed. And I topped all this out sometime in the last seven years. Um, there was the great shaking earthquake symbol painting. These are all the paintings. Um, the eagle safety for believers. The nuclear, oh, the um, boom boom that has numbers written on the side, 75246, which is a Dallas zip code. But when I prayed into it, I did not get anything about an actual boom boom in that zip code or anything crazy. Um, there was also a broken down steel bridge in that painting and the alien looking butterfly. Um, but then about that, that painting was back in 2017, about a month or so ago, I woke up in the morning, have not thought anything about that painting in ages. I woke up in the morning and I, it was like the words or the numbers were coming out of my mouth. In my, or in my head, and over and over, they were 75246, 75246, 75246, 75246. And I was like, what is that number? Like, what's up with that? Like, why? I'm, and I remembered what it was. It was from the painting. But why is it just out of the blue in my head over and over again when I'm waking up in the morning? Um, and so I was like, what is going on with that? Okay, God, what are you trying to say? Like, are you showing me something? Is that something fixing to go down with that? Like, what's up? <laughs> Because I talk to God for real. He's my dad. Like, he's my father. He created me. I just talked to him. And then all of us, he didn't say, I don't hear him say anything necessarily back all the time or anything. But it was, the numbers started slowing down in my mind. Instead of 75246, it started slowing down going 7, 5, 2, 4, 6. Over and over, it just slowed down. 7, 5 two, four, six. And after about the third or fourth time that it kept doing that, I was like, seven, five, two, four. That's like a date. July 5th, 24. I'm not a date setter. I'm not saying anything crazy like, I don't think the rapture is fixing to happen because we haven't went through some of the stuff we got to go through. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen, but I believe something's going to happen that day. I don't know what. But here's the trippy part. In the, in the video you're going to see next is the one where I did the presentation, okay? And you're going to see that in that presentation, there's something significant that happens three months after the eclipse. Of Something happened three months after the two eclipses in the 1800s. And... The eclipse is April 8th, so April to May, May to June, June to July. That's three months. So three months after the eclipse of 2024 is July 5th. That would be three months later. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So just put a pin in that, and then when you listen to the next one, or watch the next one. Watch for what happens three months after the eclipses of 1800. It's a trip.